Well, hello everybody. Here is <clears throat> Callisto, and this is Napoleon against Europe. Completely set up. As you can see, I've set up the map. Um, it's actually quite big. Um, two sheets next to each other. Up here, I have one. Um, uh, piece of cardboard that contains information, so tables about terrain and weather effects, the siege table, um, battle table, demoralization tests, cavalry pursuit, the map legend, um, the attrition table. Over here you can see um, the yet unpunched, still unpunched counters. I've just um, uh, scanned them. Here is the complete um, the, the, the setup card, um, which I'm going to um, use to set up the, um, the troops and then I'm going to put it away because then it's not really re re um, required during gameplay. Here we've got the diplomatic table, um, here we've got the resource table, um, which comes with the game. Here I've got the card assignment table, which I downloaded from uh, Board Game Geek. This one was, uh, it comes with the game, but this one is much better because you can actually mark and the different uh, cards and who gets them. And over here I've got the reserves table, which I also downloaded from our Board Game Geek. Um, this, these two were made by um, Stuka Joe and he posted them, so that's brilliant. Here I've got the yet to be unwrapped card decks and I've also made, um, for the major powers, I've actually um, <clears throat> made army markers. So this one here is Prussia, this one here is Russia, this is, of course, the uh, Britain, and this is um, the Austrian Empire. France doesn't really need a sticker because they're just blue. Um, Ottoman Empire, they're green, everybody knows that. And these two I hold in reserve, and one will probably go to Spain. <clears throat> so that's um, the situation at the moment. Um, I will punch the counters later today, probably. And I will probably set up the game. And um, There are two campaigns and um, I believe um, in the book they tell you which one to use to start with so we will see what I will do there but I will take the one that they recommend for the first time player and then we'll see how that goes okay so now you've seen it in all its glory um, I'm just going to give you one more view of the map because the map is beautiful so basically here we are Spain and Portugal over here, Morocco, um, Alge Algeria, Tunisia, Sicily, um, <clears throat> actually two Sicilies, um, one is English, um, Sardinia, Corsica, over here we have um, the Aegean Sea, Greece, Athens, Crete, Rhodes, um, Ottoman Empire up to here, um, Transylvania, Moldavia, um, Austria, Autriche, um, over here, um, Italy, um, Romagna, Lombardy, um, Toscan, um, the Papal State, Naples, which is British, um, Swiss, Switzerland, so here we have the German different countries, Württemberg, Baden, Pfalz, Thüringen, Hessen. I'm not sure about this because Kleve, Kleve and Berg, I don't know what they are supposed to be because they don't exist as separate um, Bundesländer anymore. I don't really know much about them. I mean, this is Cologne, so this is probably Nordrhein-Westfalen. Um, Hannover? Netherlands or Holland, I should say, um, Hanse, so this is Bremen, Hamburg, Mecklenburg, Saxony, Brandenburg, Magdeburg, Berlin, Prussia, um, Silesia, this is actually where my family originally comes from, or on my father's side, we're from Silesia. That's also where my last name comes from. This is actually an interesting story because my name originated in Italy, and in the 18th century, a lot of Italian engineers migrated across Europe to Silesia, where there were a lot of mines where they actually worked as mining engineers. That's where my name comes from. Um, here we have Russia, of course, Ukraine over here, um, 
Moscow, Novgorod, up here, parts of Finland, St. Petersburg, Sweden, um, Norway. <coughs> the first time I saw this, I was like, what? Um, but of course, it's not Detroit. Um, Royaume-Uni, um, the United Kingdom, Ireland, Dublin. Of course, Galway is not on the map, but it's around here. Belfast up here. Um, Britannia down here. Brest, really nice place to visit. Yeah, so, um, and over here, yeah, I have to show you this one. They have kind of like a cutout um, map of Egypt down here with um, Cairo. Alexandria, Alexandretta. So yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful map. Um, and also I have to say 66 euros for this game is actually a bargain. I paid six euros for shipping within Europe. 66 euros, uh, sorry, I paid 66 euros including shipping. So it's, I think, 60 euros for the game and six euros for the shipping. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. When you look at the at the plethora and wealth of stuff you get. Okay, so I'm really excited. Um, yeah, and um, I will let you know how this works out. Okay, bye.